So good evening to all. Hope you're doing great. So in this video, we'll be discussing about top two stocks that we can buy right now if you want to do any sort of swing trading and even we can carry forward them to long term as well. So what are those two companies? So first I'll discuss the basic fundamentals. So after that, we'll go to the technical charts and we'll find out what would be the best levels that we can choose if you're doing short term trading and in the same way, how the stock may perform in long term as well. And also we'll try to compare the deliveries which are going to be very important. So whether they are increasing on a regular basis or they're maintained at a steady manner with some very good consolidation so before that if you're new to the channel then definitely subscribe the channel and also press the bell icon to get instantly notified and do join the telegram group so that you'll not miss any instant updates okay so the first talk that we're going to discuss today is going to be pnc infratech so i think many people are familiar with this particular name so if you see it is already engaged in infra and if you see the key businesses of this particular company it is involved in airport runways bridges flyovers followed by power transmission projects so these are some of the main areas where the company works and if you see the market cap of the company it is roughly around 6412 crores and if you see the current price it is around 250 and you can see high and low they stand around 291 followed by 126 so it has not given much momentum yet so further momentum may also be seen so that's why i am recommending it it is also in a very good consolidation phase so book value is 119 and roc written on capital employed it is also very good it is around 18.1 percent Okay, so if we go further a little bit forward and if you see what are the major pros and cons, you can see company has delivered a good profit growth of 19.95% CAGR over the last five years and data days have also improved for the company and the major uh, negatives, there are nothing major negative, so only one negative related to liability. So that is not a major concern. And if we go a little bit further and if we compare with other infra companies, so you can roughly see that it provides a very good ROCE as compared to other major infra companies. Okay, so we are discussing about short term, definitely in short term it may give room, but if you want to take it for long term as well. So it's my responsibility to tell the basic fundamentals. So all are very good. So even you can hold this stock for long term also. Okay, so this is the first stock. So what is the second stock? I'll discuss the name and after that we'll go to the technical charts of both the companies and we'll see the best levels followed by deliveries. Okay, so moving further towards the second stock that we're going to discuss is going to be Arthi Drug. So I think already you might be knowing about it. So earlier also we used to discuss about Arthi Drugs. So after the buyback update, we have not majorly discussed about it. So after that, the stock was also in complete consolidation phase. But when I take to the technical charts, you'll see that they are uh, forming a very good pattern and it is at a very good support region. So in short term, definitely you can expect some very good move in this particular particular stock. So coming to market cap, it is already a 6,500 crore company and current price it is around 706 and high and low also you can compare. Stock P is around 23.3, book value is around 98 and if you see ROCE followed by ROE, so they are pretty good. They stand around 34.7% followed by 35.8%. So these are the basic details. So I won't go much further because already we know the fundamentals of RT drugs. So they are very good. So let's go to the delivery section once and after that we'll switch over to the technical charts. Okay, so if you see the day-to-day -day wise deliveries in Arthi drugs, you can see a steady, we can say steady consolidation is present in this particular stock. So not even it is giving 1% either positive move or 1% either downfall. So roughly everything is going in the range of 0.5 to 0.9%. So clearly you can see that. And you can also clarify that the deliveries are maintained at a very good rate without any increase in traded quantity. And also you can see that 
in the last two trading sessions we have seen some increase in deliverables as well so why the deliveries are increasing obviously when the stock it is reaching the support region so many people try to accumulate in that particular region so that is the one of the reason why deliveries have also increased in the last two to three trading sessions so definitely worth keeping it in the watch list so what is the level so we'll discuss so don't worry about that so for now you can clearly understand that deliveries are increasing at a very good rate without any increase in traded quantity okay so if we go further ahead and if we see about pnc infra so you can see so this particular stock also has shown some consolidation in the last three to five sessions so but yesterday we know little bit of traded quantity has increased because of the quarter results it has declared so it has posted some very good result so on that particular note little bit of volatility was seen in it and as usual you can see 25.7 percent deliveries were present but earlier so little more deliveries were seen so because of the quarter results this particular effect was seen so since numbers are very good so what is the levels also we'll try to discuss okay so these are the results that pnc infra has posted you can see the profit has grown almost 66.4 percent as compared on year on year basis so revenue has also increased 38 percent followed by earnings before interest and taxes so that has also maintained at a very good rate of 42 percent followed by margin percent has also increased so very good result has also been declared by pnc infra so these are good stocks nothing to worry about it so even if if you invest so there is nothing to lose maximum it may take little time before giving any sort of huge momentum but since we are catching at the low levels so definitely it would be beneficial if you want to invest so now let's go to charts okay so now we are back on to the technical charts of pnc infra and you can see this is the weekly chart time frame so when you see the weekly chart time frame so as usual i tell to put two moving averages so one is 200 day exponential moving average followed by 50 day so clearly you can see a crossover has been generated so where the 50 day is crossing the 200 day very clearly and that particular week has also closed successfully and now you can see a very good support region is present near the 233 rupees region so if you are getting a chance so definitely go for investing in short term followed by long term both point of view you will be benefited so no doubt about that only thing little patience and whatever you're investing so the fundamentals you need to trust so technicals are also very good crossover has been generated so retest is also being completed so almost if it approaches 233 rupees region or if you're a risky investor you can even enter at the current levels because maximum current price is 247 so roughly more 13 rupees fall if it present then definitely you can go for buying this particular stock and if you go a little bit down and if you see money flow index so that is near 67 okay okay so if we go to one day chart so there if you see the money flow index so that is in 35 almost approaching the oversold region so complete whatever the sell-off was present earlier consolidation whatever we can say so that has been completed and now at any point of time the stock may also rebound so volumes are increasing as i told traded quantity is present so still it is present at the 245 or 246 region so if you want to wait and enter you can enter at the current levels also you can take the risk so depending upon your wish either if you are doing short term or long term depends upon you for both point of view it is very good so let's go to the second stock RT drugs okay so moving further towards RT drugs you can see the stock almost it has formed a very good pattern here and you can see it is currently near the very good base region so this particular level especially the 700 rupees level is going to be very very important so you need to understand that already before when it has approached this particular region we have seen a very good movement again it has come down again it has come up again it's same it is trying to retest that so definitely in short term you will be having benefit if you're doing a trade in RT drugs and long term if it okay performs well definitely it will show further momentum so if you see money flow already told you almost 26 it is going to overbought region 
so these are the main levels or resistance wise you can say 730 is near term resistance so 700 would be the best entry if you want to enter you can enter okay so these are the two stocks that i wanted to discuss so i want to give one additional stock that you can watch into your uh, okay into dmat account so what is that stock happiest minds so this particular stock also may approach 1000 it is looking very good so already we used to discuss from 500 rupees level itself so this particular stock has given some very good returns whether it may be for long term and short term also it has given some great returns so make sure you are keeping this particular stock also into radar so if you want any separate dedicated video also you can ask me we'll make that okay so these are the two stocks if you like the video definitely like it and if you're new to the channel definitely subscribe so until then stay safe take care bye bye